Thank you. Right, I'm waiting for a certain uh, delivery company named after a river to deliver me some just generic indicators, just so I've got some. Um, they are, those down there, they are for a Suzuki address, but it's for a later model. Um, my bad, I didn't do my research. I've also got from Wamoto a service kit coming. Um, but what I'm doing now, I've got the chain card, a little spritz with some director rust paint. Uh, just to tidy it up, I've also done the uh, <laughs> the indicator bracket. Nibbles outside warming up, properly warming up. Because uh, there's a hell of a lot of water coming out of those exhausts, just from condensation. And also I think the clutch is sticking. But if I put the clutch in, there's a really nasty noise. And I think it's only because it's only been run a couple of minutes. Yeah, something's not right there. So, uh, that's what I'm getting on with at the minute. So when I've got a bit more to film, I'll, uh, I'll add on to this bit then, yes? But you're not going to know the difference. I need a poo. It's Christmas poo. Packed full of peanuts! Because I've just ate crap all week. I've literally ate crap. Stuffed myself on my gammon. Get this cheeses. Pick a lily. Peanuts coming out my arse. Ah, but it's Christmas, what we do. <laughs> back on then. So, uh, you join me back here in the shed of wonder. Ooh, wipey lensy. <laughs> Christmas flatulence. Um, little jobs today. I've made up some indicators. <laughs> and basically, I've just used a pair of big washers. Uh, for these generic indicators to grip the original bracket. The plan being, I may well at some point source the originals. They only seem to be new from Suzuki uh, and there's something like 65 quid each. So I might not go down that route because you need adapter bracket with it as well. Um, I mean if they work alright, keep them on eh? Keep them on. Or we'll, I'll just drill the bracket and adapt something. Um, next job, yeah, chain guard on, put that back on, um, fit the indicator bracket underneath. This big thing at the back I've since learned, this big round thing, it's a capacitor, which makes perfect sense because you can have no battery in this, kick it over and she'll start and she'll produce enough electric to run the fuel injection, the lights and all this lot. Um, obviously way better with the battery but that is a big F off capacitor and that stores energy for later release uh, just like on a points ignition this is the same reason why you can hand crank a point start car because the actual cranking action stores enough energy in a capacitor to form a spark anyway less than over so yeah so um, I'll uh, put the indicators on put the bracket under uh, got to fit that rear shock again. I only took that off j just so I could um, get me fat sausage fingers in there and what have you. And then um, I'm waiting, for, still waiting for me Wimoto delivery um, of a battery, spark plug, oil, and filter. The filter's here. Tiny. Drain plug. And then spark plugs at the side of the engine and you can get at it without taking any bodywork off you can actually pretty much fully service this without touching the bodywork although it does make it easier to remove all the lower cows but we won't be doing that so i'll bring you back later when i fight it around a bit today's beverage is peach and raspberry cordial sorry raspberry cordial jolly good anyway crack on oh yeah I love part days. New kickstart rubber. Sparky later. Filterator. Look how tiny it is. Battery. Wheel. Hmm. That means I can actually check out the indicators without putting a battery charger on the fucked battery. Hmm. Tell it fit the new battery. Oh yes. One thing I've done for the last few years, quite a few years, um, is my mate basically told me to do this he does it on everything oil filters uh, batteries uh, you know um, stuff like that 
he'll write the date he put the new stuff on on the battery it's a reminder for yourself and if the bike goes to a new owner they've got an instant reference of what's been done um, I can't do it on the oil filter and there's no point writing it on the casing I'll just make a note of it somewhere because I like to keep a maintenance log as well uh, so right so that's a new battery so we'll, uh, we'll crack on with fitting that bastard then right new battery snug in its little home let's see if we can hear the fuel injection and all that borrocks oh yeah see you just heard the pump prime and we've got light so now hopefully I can check the indicators okay and um, obviously it's going to generate electric when it's running okay yeah I'm happy with them I've got to work on this switch and just free it up a bit a little bit of um up there quite often works wonders rather than having to strip all the switch down so all right yeah now we know it's good oh I wonder if it'll start on the button oh I wonder Jim let's try shall we while the loving audience is here so break in for this model <laughs> beautiful right now it's generating its own electric brilliant engine's cold it's just knocked its uh, auto choke off so yeah well I'm happy with that considering she's stone cold yeah she needs that spark plug she really does so uh, yeah I've got the sparkulator plug and the oil filter um, what I'm gonna do is change the spark plug get it running for five minutes and then I'll drop the oil. I've put some new oil in. I've drained the old oil, which was like tar. And um, I've just put in what I had in stock, just some motorcycle oil. I didn't quite have the correct amount, so she's a little bit low. Uh, but now I've got, I've, I've got the proper... Just put cheap shit in it, basically. There's no such thing as shit oil these days. Uh -oh. And I can tell you that because I've spent half my career in oil development. So, um, yeah. I'll finish buttoning this up. Now I know which way around the uh, tourniquets are going. We can bolt them into the bracket using big washers. And then um, we can start putting the bodywork on the rear light. Can put the tray back in there. <laughs> but yeah, by the sounds of it, definitely needs that new spark plug. Because the old one's absolutely foobar. Right, now I'll bring you back when I've got a bit further. Oh yeah, guess who touched the battery? Fucking paint on me fingers, you dingus! Yes. Definitely needed changing and stinks of unburnt petroleum, but there is, I don't know whether you can see. Uh, yeah. Not very good, but I put a new one on it now. So let's embarrass myself and uh, see if it'll chuff off with this new one. <laughs> right I'm going to let that uh, run for 10 minutes and um, the idea then is to get it hot enough to uh, drop the wheelage and do the tiny filter so I'll bring you back when it's warmed up oh yeah time to crack the drain plug fortunately she don't hold much and that's just that's just crap Will Jimmy drop the bolt? No. Blimey. Good hell. Filter housing is just two eight mils. Oh yes it is.
so it doesn't hold a lot um, it says 800 millilitres on the casing but I think with a filter it's about 850 and we've got a litre so we're good but I will go and uh, just check the handbook and get the proper um, capacity there's to be some shite in this engine because it's uh, it's literally run about 15 minutes uh, with the new oil in it but see as the new oil goes around it'll pick up all the crap that's in the engine so I've used it like a flushing oil because that's uh, you could tie your drive with that so I'm probably doing it a bit of a favour and what I might do is say do 500 miles or something like that and then drop this oil again and just repeat that because I'm like oh, my filters filters are ridiculously cheap a litre of oil is well you know what that is anywhere between sort of 8 and 10 quid these days um, so yeah ridiculously cheap spark, spark plug were I don't know under a fiver pretty sure it was can't believe how much the price of spark plugs has gone up really has gone up but we'll leave that to drain don't drop the fucking camera yeah and, uh, I might just undo the wheel clamp and just tip tip the machine towards me so um, uh, if my next post is from A&E you know why mm, yes lovely right I'll crack on with doing that then because this is like watching paint dry or um, well oil drain so there's not a lot in it it'll be about done but I'll just tip it give it and the filter I've just gave the surrounding area a quick spray of brake clean and now uh, time to crack the filter out there you go it's an 8 mil. should only take a little tiddler of a ratchet right, get that on. Yep. Oh, there we go lovely this might start pissing a bit of oil out as I loosen these and I'm probably going to drop one great view of my hand and the cover will probably need a little tap tippy tip tip and some thread seal by the looks of it that's one yeah all right and that should have thread seal on just getting a little weep around the edge now yep these need thread seal there we go right see if i can get it off no, that needs a tippy tip tip. Or a little pull with some pliers, perhaps. But I'll give it a, a gentle love tap. I'm sorry if I'm in the way. Not sorry. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, steer the lot. There's one cap off. Spring. Yes, I think uh, that can have some brake clean in it. I'll just put that on some blue paper. Yes, yeah, some highly organised blue paper. There we go. Yes, you can go there. Tap, tap. Yeah, that's well past you. Tiny. He's really small. Oh dear. Very cute. Very cute. Yes. Just give the housing a... Lovely. Get a bit of blue 
Wema. Oh, Wema. Right, you can probably see this better than I can. Let's get the light in. See if there's a, an O ring or something we need to move. Well, I've got oil on my bloody light. How's that work? It's fucking leaking. Do excuse me. Oh, yes. Have we got any O rings to rescue? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, then, that's good. Good, good. Right, I will get. There's the new one. Spot the difference. There's the new one, and I'm just going to get a little dab of fish engine oil just to lube that seal. I'll put you there. Do, 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 do. face of this up a bit. Yeah, nice. Make sure the spring goes in the middle. Actually before I do that I think I am actually going to sploosh um, I'm going to put some thread seal on those bolts I do believe and I have some just up there. Cool. prone to knocking things over and it's usually exactly what I want right reorientate my bench right thread lock and seal thread locks come in different colours basically um, thread lock and seal there I'll just wipe the thread and there's a bit of paper here well, uh, this is thrilling for you isn't it Nose, lovely. Yes, superb. Right. Make sure the spring's in the middle. as easy as a as a cartridge filter change. These are only M6, so they're going to have to be super tight. That'll do. I mean, ideally, I should have replaced the O-ring that's inside the cap, but uh, we'll chance it, and if it leaks, we'll get a new one, because at least we can actually change the filter without losing most of the oil. Sorted. Right. Time to put the new oil in now. And you saw, you know how that happens. I won't film it. Um, but I'm going to 
put 800 mil in to start with because that's a recommended amount on the case and then I think it's I'm going to go and check the box I think it's an extra 50 mil if you change the oil filter as well so I know I've definitely got to put 800 in so I'll crack on with that and then uh, well, well we'll see what happens after that oh yeah I, feel like I want some way of I need to know how to change the idle speed on that uh, throttle body because I think it's ever so slightly down to what it should be um, I mean in theory the injection and everything is computer controlled but I think the idle speed is manual so um, I need to gen up on that because it's, it's cutting out at idle but it's running at revs so yeah, we'll see, it's early days yet well, it seems to be idling better now so I'd say that was a success oil changed, filter changed, spark plug changed uh, yeah, all good. Fresh full tank of petroleum. You see, it's, it's probably I didn't bother flushing the old fuel out of it. There was very little of it, but it, it would be absolute shite. So it, it's when this new fuel comes through, it should run a lot better. And yes, jolly good, happy boy.